Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. And another video on the greenhouse build. So this is more of just an update. <clears throat> oh, by the way, please subscribe to our channel while you're watching this video. Uh, but this is just more of an update. Uh, I have been painting and I detest painting. I can't even put into words how much I hate painting. Um, and so I've been spending the last, this is day number three, I guess, working on the paint. Um, and as you can see, I'm kind of covered because I'm not a very good painter, but whatever. So uh, I got, or I started painting with the primer coat, all the, the walls. I'll, I'm going to do the, the base foundation wall after all this is done mainly i'm just doing the all the rafters and and the uh you know framing for the walls so i started doing the priming i have a little sprayer but it was not working like it wasn't i, I don't know if the paint was too thick or i didn't clean it out good last time or what but so i had this little sprayer and it was just taking forever to try to get through even the smallest sections like hardly any paint was coming out so I gave up with that um, and went back to painting with a brush or and that seemed to go faster but in the meantime I also sent a message to my nephew and because he paint he's he paints uh, as one of his um, current jobs and uh, to see if he had some tips for me and uh, he ended up coming down that evening, showing up with his uh, kick-ass paint sprayer. And I had only done a very small section back here in the corner, kind of working my way through. And he came in with his paint sprayer with the primer. And by dark or a little after dark, he had almost finished all the, the primer for me. Just kind of buzzed through it in like an hour. Um, so then yesterday morning, I came out and finished up the spots that he couldn't do because it was getting too dark and some touch-up spots. Um, and then I went to Lowe's and got a uh, better sprayer than the one I have, a more upgraded one. Came back and I did all the walls with the first coat of the regular white paint um, on top of the, of the primer. And that went really well. So then this morning I came out and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get through all the rafters like probably within an hour or so. But now my new sprayer is all gunking up. And I don't know what the deal is if uh, you know I didn't strain the paint or the, the one thing I noticed is like the, the air that blows out of the sprayer <clears throat> is super hot. And the paint starts to dry like around the, the nozzle and heats up. And so they keep pulling sections out. Um, and what was happening, it, it was like spraying all these like big droplets instead of a nice fine spray like it was yesterday. So maybe I didn't clean it good enough last night. I don't know. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not a painter. So after messing with that for like a half hour today, I went back to painting with a brush and I've been out here uh, for the last couple hours and I've got most of the first coat on um, on the rafters there's still some a uh, few sections I've, I've got to do but I've got to stop now because we're supposed to get uh, about an inch of rain tomorrow afternoon so I want to make sure that all the paint that has already been done has at least 12 hours or so to dry before the rain gets here so by stopping now I mean, the stuff that I did yesterday is completely dry. And so I think I've given myself enough time for what is done to dry. And then hopefully this coming weekend, I will finish up the paint. Um, so I didn't take any video of me painting because that's not really exciting. There's a few pictures here that I'm throwing up uh, onto the screen that will kind of show you the progress. But, you know, it's just painting. There's, there's there's not really a DIY. If there is a, a DIY or hacks and tips on showing you how to paint better, um, I'm not the guy to show you that. Oop. 
to sit my microphone. I'm not the guy to show you how to do that. So uh, I'm just showing you what I've got done so far. So in addition, in addition to the painting, uh, since the last video, I also put up all these cross beams, got all those up, and those not only give additional support to the rafters, they also help prevent wall lean uh, from what I understand from engineering, um, my limited experience in, in building engineering. Uh, but if you don't have enough support, um, your walls over time can start to lean out, which then can cause your roof to sag. So these additional cross beams can help prevent that. And in addition, once I get electric running here, I want to put ceiling fans and that will give me a good space to mount the the ceiling fans or any lighting and, and whatnot that I want to put up there. And one additional thing that I put in were these brackets at the top of the rafters and that gives additional support to those and I attach those with joist hanger nails. Um, I think I've got like six in each one. Uh, even though they're all screwed in and whatnot, um, I just wanted some additional bracket support up there. The one other thing that I did do since my last video since my last video is I framed out a section for the back window as well as two front windows. So the front and back will have the corrugated plastic uh, over most of it where down both sides will have all the recycled barn, barn windows. Um, but uh, I still want to, because we had some extra barn windows that were of varying sizes, we'll put one in the center back here and then two small ones in the front and also this past weekend I did a test with one of the small windows and cut it with a skill saw to trim it to size to fit into one of these sections and it went better than expected so that should allow me to trim all the windows to fit as I need to so I was worried about how that was going to work out but at least that first one worked uh, it still needs to be sanded here I'll, actually I'll show it to you real quick Okay, so this is one of the small windows in the front. And again, this still needs to be sanded, caulked, cleaned, and all that. But it's been trimmed, so this will go in. I'm sure I'll drop it. This is going to go in there like that. And then we'll have the corrugated plastic around it along with I plan to do trim around the windows and around the door and, and that sort of thing. So. But I was very happy that trimming up the side with the skill saw, actually this side with the skill saw, uh, gave me enough room so I can fit it in. And once I get it screwed in there and some caulk around the edges, maybe some shims in some areas where uh, it didn't come out quite perfect, um, I can put this, put all the windows in and I can do them all that way. So pretty excited about that. So, yay. Okay, so that's the update on where we're we're at, at the greenhouse so far. My next update probably won't be until next week because I'm gonna finish up this painting and my ceiling panels aren't due in uh, until next Wednesday unless they come in early. So that's still a week from tomorrow. And like I said, we're supposed to get rain the next couple of days. So I need to get all this stuff cleaned up and put away. And I've got some harvesting to do and, and that will be uh, another video that I'll be posting here shortly, a November harvest. Um, so again, subscribe to our channel and thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I hope that whatever is going on in your neck of the woods, at your homesteads and in your gardens, that you are having a fantastic day and all of your projects are going amazingly well. Hopefully they're going faster and better than mine. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Namaste.